let, let's just go straight into this. It's like the idea of these conversations is to like we can watch YouTube videos, you know, and uh, and um, we get an idea of tricks and things like this. But like, really, what is behind um, the juggler's ideas, you know, and his philosophy and how he even approached the juggling? You know, this all adds richness to the, to the juggling. You know, it's like you, we can't just you can't just learn things from YouTube. You can, you know, but it's like, um, it's like you see something and you think it's beautiful uh, and it's it's beautiful because how it's done, you know, it's not just the thing in itself. So, um, so this is the idea of this, you know, uh, uh, and, uh, and um, so, uh, yeah, I'll pass it straight over to you, Santi, and uh, perhaps just say a little bit, yeah, yeah, let's try and make it, make it uh, tiny little bite-sized pieces, otherwise it's too much, too much you know. It's, yeah, uh, well. It's, uh, okay. just, perhaps just start, start saying like, uh, how, how did you get into juggling, you know, what, and what does it mean for you? And, uh, yeah, just start. And... Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I started into juggling uh, quite old for sometimes for juggling standards. I got into juggling when I was 21, 21 years, uh, and it was almost 19 years ago. And I, I used to be a skateboarder and like got my ankle fucked up really bad. Like I couldn't skate anymore. And I was super, super depressed because uh, I was teenager still and, oh, I'm never going to find something that I love so much as a skateboarding. And then a cousin uh, from me that lived in Chile uh, got to Mexico and he just had learned how to juggle three balls. He didn't know anything else about juggling, but but the regular cascade. And he was like, oh, look what I learned. And for him, it was like, oh, I learned this cool trick, but he showed me and I was like, oh, I have to learn this. So I, 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 I learned it and, and I, got, I got the cascade pretty quick, I think, like in a couple hours. And I was like, oh, this is so wonderful. I, I thought before that juggling was something like only circus families or or people like that learn. I, I, I never figured out it was so easy to learn. So when I, I did it, I was like super, super stoked. And and the next day I wanted already to teach everyone to juggle like, oh, this <laughs> is so cool and so easy to learn. Yeah, like you should like try and and I was t t teaching all my skateboard friends and my family how to juggle and I, I, I just knew the the cascade and that was pretty much that for a year I used to work on a skate shop like selling skateboards and things and and I like juggled there all day uh, but didn't didn't knew any other jugglers and of course there wasn't YouTube or anything so I, I had this full year, like just for juggling and me, you know, like without knowing any tricks, I tried to figure out a lot of things. Like, for example, I, I figured out how to do four, but I, I, I thought I was cheating because they weren't crossing. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> things like that. I, I, I thought I, I invented the, the one up, two up, and <laughs> yeah, at, at, at some point I did like I I never saw it and I figured it out. But yeah, of course it was the most common trick ever. And and I was like that for almost a year uh, till a friend said like, oh, you juggle because I just saw a juggling shop near my my house. And I was like, juggling shop? Oh, that's weird. What what's what's in a juggling shop? And I went there. I got my clubs. I got my rings. And, and where? And sorry, where was this, Santi? In Mexico? Yeah, it it was in Mexico City, two thousand and one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and there was this first uh, shop. It was called El As del Circo. And besides getting my first props there, I got the book that pretty much changed my life. 
which was the Encyclopedia of Ball Juggling by Charles Tansy. Yeah, uh, where is it? <laughs> no, I can't find it. <laughs> anyway, you got it. Oh, did you go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's for, for I got my utmost respect forever to Charles Dancy because with his book, like I I I I got like so much information that wasn't available in Mexico, like side swap notation millions of tricks and especially i i love like the the joy of juggling that he kind of like transmitted with with his book it wasn't just like instructions it was like i really enjoy juggling and juggling it's beautiful and fun like and i got i got stuck there forever that's oh, that's, that's beautiful so yeah yeah, yeah. carry on yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much. That's pretty much how I started. And after I got the book for a for a while, when I got the book, I I couldn't believe all the information. So I decided like, okay, I'm gonna give it like a, a few months. Like I'm just studying this book. I I in, in my free time when I was in the shop, all my free time in my house, I was like trying to learn the the tricks uh, from the book. And I learned quite a lot. Like when I got back to the juggling shop, like I was, I was much better than the guys working there. And, and they, they asked me like, you want to work? And, and I was thinking like they were offering me to work in the, in the shop. Like I was working in the skate shop and I say like, oh, sure. I, I can, I can work in a juggling store instead. Like it will be better for me now. And they were like, no, 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 it's 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 for a show. We need you to juggle like that. And for me, it was like, wait, what? You can you can work as a juggler? <laughs> I I I I haven't figured it out. For me, it was like just the substitution of of the skateboarding I did before. Like for me, it was a lot of being on the street with my friends and and trying new tricks and and being creative, but I, I never realized that it's a profession uh, as well. Sure. And sure. Uh, yeah, and, and that changed, changed a, uh, a lot my life because mm -hmm. uh, at some point I, I could start, uh, I, I, I could leave my, my job in the shop and, and give it all my time to, to juggling. So, so I started, that was my start with juggling pretty much. Mm. Oh, cool, cool, cool. No, I think this is, um, this is a lot of us have, have this in common, you know, a lot of passionate jugglers, you know, it's some, there's something in there which excites us about it. And it's really this, this, this joy of learning and, and challenging yourself, you know, it's all this theories or flow or being in, in in the flow it's all about this having something which is difficult but not too much and then and then and then it's just beautiful yeah yeah <laughs> absolutely so <laughs> yeah yeah so, so what i'm interested in now as well is and what keeps you motivated right now you know what's uh perhaps not like right now but in this period you know in the last year or so couple of years um, yeah well i i i I don't have that problem that that many people have the problem of of keeping motivated to juggle and after a few years like they they have to no they don't have to they want to quit or not juggle as much or they don't find the joy in it for me it's the opposite i i like i have seasons where i can't juggle because some i'm hurt or something like that. And I got really depressed when I can juggle. For me, like juggling in itself, it's the motivation. Like it's something that makes me happy. And sometimes I, I, I'm a bit depressed or sad or, or mad. And I just go out and juggle a couple hours without thinking much. And that's like my relief. Uh, so so juggling yeah. in itself, I I, I, I Returning to your question, I think 
juggling in itself motivates me to to pass my everyday like for example in this quarantine like i i don't know what what i would have done without juggling like for me juggling was my my saver mm. yes 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 and it's this But, sorry yeah 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 but um I, I had this this moment when I was when I started getting good at some point, like people started telling me, oh, you're so good, you, you juggle so well. And I was much more into numbers juggling at the time. But uh, at some point that kind of juggle was really frustrating me. It's it's very it's very hardcore, the training you have to have for numbers juggling or technical juggling. And at some point I, I realized, like I look myself from, from outside and I saw myself like getting mad with my props. I don't know if you, <laughs> you have had this like, oh, today I'm not doing anything right. And you throw your balls and, and, and you're mad. And I, I had to like reanalyze uh, why I was doing, uh, why I was juggling, why I was doing it. And And I, I, I quit a lot on the numbers juggling. I started playing more with the lower numbers and especially having, having more fun, like not, not having, because when people told me like, oh, you're good and that, I, I, start, I was training so hard at the time, like maybe eight to 10 hours a day. Uh, wow. but, but sometimes sometimes i didn't feel like training but i like push myself into it like oh no you have to to do your full eight hours and i was putting so much pressure into it and forgetting sometimes about the fun of doing it and at at that point uh, it was like 10 years ago maybe uh, like I, I, I do the re-evaluation of what I was doing and, and decided to have more fun and just approach juggling like if I were a kid and I was playing and it has worked for me like wonders. Like from, from that point, I was never frustrated again juggling. I, I still train a lot, but if I don't feel like training, I take my day off and I, I don't know, I just enjoy it much more. Like I, I look for other things as well. Like I was at some point super obsessed with juggling and I just talked about juggling, juggle all day, uh, got to my house and, and saw videos of juggling and uh, I have a much more balanced life now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure lots of, um, this is experience of lots of jugglers this uh But um, I wanted, this is why I wanted to say, I mean, in the last few years, I've been studying a lot more of this whole phenomenon of playfulness, you know, and everything you've said, that, that is what it is, you know, it's this finding the fun in things, you know, which doesn't mean having to be stupid or like necessarily being a clown, but we has to be, um, the reason why we do it is just because it feels good to do it, you know, and uh And, and this is what you're saying. So it's, I think this is really important, really important that, that uh, the juggling community hears this, you know, because it's this, for me, this is like essentially, let's say juggling therapy, you know, it, it's play in the end, we're in play, we're training play in the end, you know, so we become much more light with everything. And, and I think you're right, you know, now it's becoming a bit colder now, I'm juggling a bit less. And uh, I feel it, you know, I need to, I need, I need to train myself as well, you know, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah I need it, need this. Uh, so, um, so cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let, I, perhaps I should, should pop over to the Facebook page. There might be some people even writing some things there, you know. Yeah, yeah, probably. Let's see if they have questions. Yeah. <laughs> There's Annie Cooper that says that's when the juggling world had a lucky moment children corner and someone else here so yeah if you have any questions pop them in there but i i think it's all pretty uh it's all pretty um simple you know said like this and i think this is the beauty as well of this uh of um you know when when we talk from our experience um 
it comes across you know it really comes across this uh so oh, i'm very happy we started started up this uh this series and i'm very happy that, that you come along uh Santi. so um so let's just um perhaps talk a little bit about your how your how your 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 session is you know i mean like let's say you go wherever you go and you, and you how do you start you know are you already thinking about your session beforehand are you thinking yeah i want to nail this thing do you have like a set uh, a set things you do or you change like you get there and think now nah, i don't want to do this now and uh like how is it how is your how is your sessions now yeah i i i, I used to have uh, when i was talk, uh, when i was training like eight to ten hours I, I i used to have like this really super uh premeditated sessions like oh I, i'm gonna do three hours of contact and then i'm gonna do like four hours of clubs and then i'm gonna freestyle with three balls for an hour and i have all these like really well planned and like i did i i did all the tricks i knew like that was my warm-up like doing all the tricks i know with clubs and then if i had time left I, I I tried on the new stuff and now it's completely the opposite. Like most most of the days, like I just grab whatever prop I'm I'm feeling. Like it it usually is three clubs, which is the what I like to play more. And I put some music and I try to jam and freestyle and play. And suddenly, from the from the from the freestyling, mm. comes new ideas. And mm. when I when I realize these new ideas, like yeah, I, I try to to remember and play it again or film it, not to forget it. And and sometimes I I I try on on on, on these ideas uh, alone. Uh, but yeah. Nowadays, I'm mostly uh, freestyling and improvising and getting getting ideas from there. But I also do uh, a lot of of thinking uh, of juggling, like in in side swap terms, which is weird because uh, most like people like really into side swap. It's technical jugglers, which are more into quantity and stuff. And I've been working a lot with 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 the side swap of manipulation of small patterns. Mm. So even if my juggling feels sometimes like flowy or creative, it's very very based on on side swap, on understanding what side swap I'm doing, even with manipulations or or patterns, and and trying to modify. Uh, every 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 throw or some some things like that so let's let's just um say a little bit uh like not explain sight swap say but just say so what you're saying is like a let's say a high throw a seven or something would be a balance held for longer yes said, exactly Ex exactly like like i i try to figure out like okay this ball i i i do something that uh, i try a throw or for example the balance and i try to assign that balance different values like uh, will this balance work if i work it as a two okay yeah or or a one okay yeah maybe what can i do with what uh four one one with the one as a balance like uh, okay uh will it work like as a two and i start working oh four two three with the two as a balance okay but it can be also the three or it can be also the four or, you know, so mm. I, I, I decide a move and I try to fit that move into different values of Cypher. Okay. I, don't well, know, I think I this don't know. is a perfect moment to, to show this, show this a little bit, if you feel like it. Uh, yeah, with like an exercise or something for yeah, people yeah, to yeah. practice. Yeah, 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 yeah for, sure, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm, I'm gonna unplug my... Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. See. For example, I don't know if 
you can see this is an exercise I do for working on pretty much all four to trees. Uh, I'm gonna substitute the four in this case with with different uh, values. Uh, no, with different with different exercises. I'm gonna grab my orange. I think this will look better. Yeah. So for example, first of all, you need to to work as as you were gonna draw a four. In the four, you have this space, so you're gonna like like mark that space, like do the balance and have the space there and return. See? So now you have the time as a four, and then uh, you're gonna do the same, but instead of clapping, you're gonna place the other object. So balance, place. Catch hmm. two in the in the same hand. Balance, place, catch. Of course, you have to work both sides always. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna show it on the front. Does it look good? Yeah, yes, I can see perfectly. It's brilliant. I'm here. You. Yeah. Right. So you have your return. You have and catch. For the next exercise. It's gonna be a four one one. So okay. you're gonna do the four one and return the one before the fall falls down. Like four one one. Four one one. Four one one. That's the second step. So you have the four zero with the club and then the four one uh, and keep it and then the four one one. Okay. When you have that really really good you can you can try instead of doing the second one you will do like four one three zero two so okay you you do the balance give and then drop oh, yeah. instead instead of, instead of just giving the, the one again you do a three 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 Three, two, three. That's exercise number three. <laughs> exercise number four. It's now instead of doing the first speed, you're gonna do a throw to get into the balance. So it's three, four, three. That's that's the speed. That's the throw. When you have all those exercises perfect, you're almost done with the four to three. That's like you just do it one side to another. But you already have these exercises from the previous ones. Yeah, so, right. So that's that for me the easiest way to learn all the all the different four to three is like it works for for this contact one and that wasn't four to three. That was or or the ones with both. All those four to trees. Uh, for me, this is like the best way to learn them methodically. And and it was something that I realized like, because when I, I, I learned the trick, it was like just, just showing me the trick, but it, I, I wasn't really clear about that being like a four to three where the fours were being substituted by balances or contacts or stuff. And, and understanding that led me to a lot of new patterns because it wasn't just the pattern, but it was like a four and you can fit a four in many different sites. So you can start trying like, oh, six, four, one, one, or yeah, uh, uh, other not so common sites of five, four, five, three, four, you know? Uh, so, so I think like, 
understanding really good sites up, being a, a nerd juggler has helped me a lot in in my creative juggling. Sure, sure. Let's see if there's any questions in the uh, in um yeah Tina she says nice. Yeah, people are I think question people are okay, so let's go back to the zoom uh zoom chat here so <laughs> Sad Sadi, you still there yeah 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 i'm here <laughs> like, i'm here i'm oh, here no, we lost Sadi. <laughs> no 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 i'm here i'm here oh but Don't this worry. is this is going cool uh this is going cool now so what like um um so yeah the, Hang on, let me let me think about this a, a second now. Eh? Yeah. So basically, we're on one side saying, don't be so uh, um, structured. On the other side, know the basis. You know, know the principles. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, of of course, for me, for me, that that's that's important in 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 every art, like. Uh, it's super important to express yourself, but uh, the most tools you have for that expression, the uh, the clearer that your message can be, you know? Like, yeah, of course, like if you want to paint and you don't know how to, or you're not good, do it, do it. However, have fun, like, but if, if you want to, to transmit some message and, and be, be clear, the more technical skills you get, the the easiest is it it's gonna make it. Like I don't know if it, if that makes sense for me. In juggling, it's like that. Like uh, I think the basics of of every art, juggling included, uh, they're super super important because having that clear, it's it's what makes you being able to improvise or freestyle on that but you need the the language of the of your craft sure 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 and so, for me um, side, sorry, sorry for for me side swap notation it's it's a lot like like knowing how to 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 read and notate music like of course you can be a good player without knowing how to to read music or notate or and so you of course you can be a good juggler without knowing side swap uh, but but i think that's a skill that makes you more aware of your juggling and it makes it easy to communicate also and to transform your juggling like you can see like oh your partiture you know like oh this is what's not sounding right. Like I have to change this for that, and you know. Uh, so for me, yeah. Even even if I say like not not too serious. Like for me, juggling technique and notation, it's really really important if you want to really get into juggling. Mm. So um. So you started juggling nearly 20 years ago, more or less, eh? Yeah, I, this December will be 19 years. 19 years, wow. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a bit of a stupid question, really, let's say. But uh, is there any advice you would have given to yourself, like, after one year of juggling, like, from now? What would you have said to yourself, like? Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. And the be the the pretty much what I say, uh, before like the have fun and like don't get too much pressure but especially stretch <laughs> okay <laughs> a, a stretch and 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 do some like physical conditioning because yeah i i, I didn't thought when i started i didn't thought as with uh, of juggling as a like 
sport, you know, like uh, yeah, physical, yeah. physically demanding, like, oh yeah, I'm juggling, but suddenly you, you get five balls and, and it's like, oh, oh, this is, this is tiring as well. And, you know, and, and you're, if you're juggling like eight, eight hours a day, like you start getting hurt. And that's, that's what happened to me. And I was, I was training eight hours without stretching. I was warming up was like, Okay, I, I I'm here like uh, three 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 times my neck around and okay uh, my my wrist okay I'm ready to juggle ten hours now no that that's that's not good for your body I, and I ended up having tendinitis very strong one uh, and couldn't juggle for almost the whole 2009 year uh, and and I had to take it very slowly the, the next few years uh, because of I I over overtrained like I was training too much without conditioning my body and without stretching so that's that's one thing that I I I'll say to my 21 year old self like don't be stupid like it it doesn't matter if you train like six hours instead of eight but you give it one for stretching and one for conditioning and you you'll be happier <laughs> when you're older <laughs> yeah yeah sounds good that sounds like a yeah good stuff good stuff I, of course i i i completely agree <laughs> completely agree yeah definitely so um do you have anything else you like any like any other sneaky tricks you'd like to share with us like uh a... I, I don't know yeah i can share for sure i i, I don't know what you want two minutes to see. just two minutes of like a tiny tiny things anything uh, hey we can also end here if you like santi no no i i i i do it with pleasure <laughs> <laughs> um okay i i play uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, have a quick, have a play. Yeah, I think that's beautiful. For the for, for all the people that have like uh, actually watched this right to the end. What? For all the people that have got this far, they get to see you playing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's cool, Sati. Brilliant, brilliant. So, um, yeah, so thanks for, for coming along. And uh, and uh, sorry about we, all the, the hassle, <laughs> that we had, all the problems we had connecting. But, um, yeah, one day maybe I make it to Mexico, who knows. Eh? Who yeah, knows? yeah, don't worry about that. Like, I, I, I'm not so good with technology as well. And... Um, I'm 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 super happy to be invited, and I wish you the best luck with the program. Like I think it's really cool to have all these all these kind of talk interviews with jugglers we've been seeing with this pandemic. But so, sometimes good things come from from bad things, and it's been really good uh, being able to hear different experience from from jugglers. All over the world so good luck with this like I'll, I'll be watching and i was super happy to be invited thank you santi so um next wednesday we don't know exactly who will come on 
but the following weeks um there, there are people um slotted in let's say so uh we will we will definitely do another another um, another show next uh next um next wednesday and um we will uh yeah find out who it is hopefully in the next couple of days <laughs> so uh so santi thank you very much again and uh thank you again and have a, have a beautiful day and uh I'll catch you later and thanks everybody thanks for everybody watching. watching um please comment uh below that when you've seen it you know it, it encourages encourages uh santi and it encourages me to, to carry on making making this uh these videos like this so goodbye everybody ciao santi Anthony, thank you. Hugs to everybody.